Welcome my dear learners for this course on design of machine elements 1. From our previous lecture, we have started our discussion on stress concentration. Let us continue our discussion on stress concentration. Moving ahead, the problem number 2 of our discussion on stress concentration states that a notched flat plate shown in figure 2 is subjected to bending moment of 10 Newton meter. Determine the maximum stress induced in the member by taking the stress concentration into account. Now, if I carefully observe the problem number 2, we have a flat notched bar subjected for bending. Very, very important. The common mistake students commit in stress concentration is that they will refer to shaft instead of referring to flat bar. They will refer to flat bar instead of referring to shafts because in stress concentration factor, determination of stress concentration factor referring to figure 2.11 to 2.30, we have a representation for flat bar with notch subject for bending, shaft with notch subject for bending. Don't get confused. Be careful. Now, as I said in our very first step, we should compare the given sketch to the data handbook referring to figures 2.11 to 2.30. Now, if I match figure 2 to our data handbook, if I move for solution of problem number 2, if I match, it is a flat bar subjected for bending. So, therefore, from figure 2.15, figure 2.15 referring to page, referring to page 38, we have flat bar, flat notched bar subjected to bending so therefore if i match the given problem with these figures it is matching with it is matching with figure 2.15 referring to page number 38 where in which we have stress concentration factor for a notched flat bar subject for bending now if i note down the dimensions and from the graph if i calculate the stress concentration factor in the x axis we have R by B ratio. We have R by B ratio. Here the value of radius is 10 and B is denoted by D. Small b is denoted by D. How much is the value of D is unknown. So we should calculate the value of D which is B for the data handbook. So this value is nothing but 60 minus 10 minus 10. So therefore the value of D is 60 minus 20 that is 40. So B from the figure it is 60 minus 10 minus 10 which is 40 mm. So therefore put it here you will get 10 by 40 which is 10 by 40 which is 0 0.25 0 0.25 so mark 0 0.25 here marked 0 0.25 now here we have a curves of b by b ratio capital b by small b from the figure capital b is 60 small b is computed that is 40 so therefore b by b ratio will turn out to be how much we have b by b ratio it is 60 by 40 which is turning out to be 1.5 so take the curve of 1.5 now from 0 0.25 we have theoretical stress concentration factor in y axis now from 0 0.25 you move up like this you move up like this and cut 1.5 curve of b by b ratio and come horizontally towards left side and intersect the y axis. So if I intersect the y axis I found out that kt as 1.58 1.58 is the value of theoretical stress concentration factor referring to figure 2.15 page number 38 notched flat bar subject for bending. 
now in this figure itself he has given the value of i by c that is z is equal to i by c which is equal to tb square by 6 he has given as tb square by 6 kindly make a note it is wrong printed as i by 6 it is not i by 6 it is i by c i by c is equal to tb square by 6 which is nothing but z section modulus for us from the same figure 2.15 so if i substitute and solve i will get the value as thickness is 10 b is 40 by 6 how much is that 10 into 40 square by 6 it is not i by 6 it is i by c correct it in the data handbook under figure 2.15 so i'll get the value as 266 266.67 mm cube now we know that sigma nominal sigma nominal is m by z sigma nominal is m by z for pure bending we have the bending moment given it is subject for a bending moment of 10 newton meter it is given in terms of newton meter but i should substitute in newton millimeter so therefore 10 newton meter is equal to 10 into 10 to the power of plus 3 newton millimeter divided by 266.67 so therefore i will get sigma nominal as 10 to the power of 4 divided by this answer which is turning out to be 3.75 3.75 mega pascals or newton per millimeter square so now from the definition of stress concentration factor kt i can find what is the value of sigma max that is sigma max is equal to kt times sigma nominal kt is 1.58 1.58 into 3.75 1.58 into 3.75 which is equal to 1.58 into 3.75 which is 5.92 5.92 5.925 mega pascal is the solution for this problem kindly make a note section modulus i by c is given directly in the figure 2.15 so therefore taking from 2.15 and bending moment is given in the question as 10 newton meter convert into newton millimeter 10 into 10 power 3 newton millimeter divided by z which is computed from figure 2.15 and it is found to be 266.67 millimeter cube Substituting the values, I will get sigma max as 5.925 mega pascal. So, this is solution for problem number 2. Now, let us move for solution of problem number 3. If I move for solution of problem number 3, that is, if you carefully observe, we have a bar with hole as well as notch. The problem statement is that a bar of rectangular section is subjected to an axial pull of 500 kilonewtons as shown in figure 3. Calculate the thickness if the allowable tensile stress in the bar is 200 megapascals. If the allowable tensile stress in the bar is 200 megapascals. Now we have specified 200 megapascal is allowed. Maximum value of stress allowed is 200 megapascals which means that sigma max is 200 megapascal. Now I should find what is the value of thickness of this flat bar. Now if you carefully observe we have three sections A, B and C. Section A is a flat bar with hole subject for tension. Section B is notched flat bar subject for tension. And section C is again flat bar with hole. But careful observation reveals that section A and section C are same. So therefore any one among A and C is enough for analysis. So what I do is that I will analyze only section A and section B and decide what is the thickness because the answer of section A is same as answer for section C. Let us solve this problem. 
let us consider section a a first if i consider section a a section a a is like this flat bar with hole flat bar with hole this is small a and this is capital b correct and we have load here so if i compare this figure with the data handbook it matches with figure from figure 2.12 of our data handbook page number 36 that is flat bar with hole intention flat bar with hole in tension now referring to this figure 2.12 referring to page number 26 we have a graph of we have a graph of a by b which is turning out to be the value of a whole dimension is 30 and the value of capital b is 220 given so a by b is turning out to be 30 by 220 which is 0.136 0.136 let us take it as 0.14 so mark 0.136 we have 0.1 <coughs> and we have 0.2 in between we should take it as 0.125 0.15 0.175 and 0.2 so therefore after 0.1 after 0.1 the next box is 0.125 move a bit ahead and move upward and intersect this curve like this so now to make you understand properly let me rewrite this again this is a by b the value of a by b is also computed it is 30 by 220 which is turning out to be 0.136 which is approximately i can take it as 0.14 is what i said what we have is 0.1 and we have 0.2 like this now the next line to 0.1 is 0.125 and the second line is 0.15 so between that you take and next line so like this we have so this is 0.15 so between these two you take between these two if you move forward and intersect this curve and come horizontally you'll find the value of stress concentration factor kt as 2.65 you'll find the stress concentration factor as 2.65 so therefore from the definition of stress concentration factor we can find how much is the thickness so before that find out the area because in this figure itself he has given the value of area area is given by b minus a into t so therefore it will be 220 minus 30 is 190 t it is 190 times the thickness now we know that stress concentration factor kt is sigma max by sigma nominal so 2.65 is equal to sigma max is specified for us the maximum allowable stress is 200 mega pascals 200 mega pascals by sigma nominal so hence you'll get the value of sigma nominal as 200 mega pascals divided by 
2.65 which is turning out to be 75.47 Now we know that for direct tensile stress, sigma nominal is force by area. So sigma nominal is seventy five point four seven. Applied force is five hundred kilo newton. That is five into ten to the power of five newtons. Two plus three is five divided by one ninety t. So therefore, how much is the thickness? Thickness will be five into ten to the power of five by seventy-five point four seven. This answer is divided by one ninety, which is thirty-four point eight seven. Thirty-four point eight seven. Now you also find from section. BB. Now taking section BB, we have flat bar with notch. That is, we have a flat bar like this, having a notch, like this. subject it for tension so this is small b and this is capital b and we have radius r right now matching this we have from figure 2.14 page number 37 that is notched flat bar notched flat bar in tension for which we have x axis as b by b ratio x axis as r by b and curve as capital b by small b so capital b by small b r by b radius is 30 so therefore how much is small b small b will become 220 minus 220 minus 30 plus 30 30 plus 30 so how much is that 220 minus 60 which is 160 mm so therefore r by b will be 30 by 160 which is 0.187 and b by b will be 220 by 160 which will be 1.375 now if i plot it into the figure 2.14 referring to page number 37 we have the curves for b by b for 1.3 and another one for 1.5 now r by b is known r by b is 0.1875 so therefore take it for 0.19 move and intersect at the center of these two curves that is b by b 1.3 and b by b 1.5 between these two you take we have 1.4 between these two you take and come horizontally towards left like this and you will get the value of stress concentration factor kt as 2.05 you get the value of stress concentration factor kt as 2.05 so move up between these two lines you come horizontally towards left now we got the value of kt now we know that 
from the definition kt is given by sigma max by sigma nominal we know stress concentration factor as 2.05 maximum allowable stress is 200 mega pascals given divided by sigma nominal so therefore the value of sigma nominal is found out to be 200 by 2.05 which is 97.56 97.56 mega pascals now you know the formula for sigma nominal that is sigma nominal is equal to force by area where area for this section is given in the graph itself that is t into b so hence it is 97.56 which is equal to force is 500 kilo newtons that is 500 to the power of 5 divided by area is t into b so area value is specified in this figure itself as t into b from figure 2.14 area is t into b we know the value of b value of b is 160 find the value of t so if i solve for t that is 97.56 sorry 520 to the power of 5 divided by 97.56 this answer is again divided by b that is 160 hence the thickness is turning out to be 32 32 mm so from section aa we got 34.87 mm from section bb we got 32 mm if I analyze section CC, again I will get the same answer as 34.87 mm. So therefore, for safe design, adopt thickness as adopt thickness as higher value, which is 35 mm. So the solution for this problem, number two is thickness of the flat bar subjected for axial pull with hole and notch is found to be 35 millimeters so this is how we should solve or design problem for when maximum stress is given and stress concentration factor is to be considered so this is the complete solution for problem number two and three that solve from this lecture thank you all